Hey everybody, it's Lisa, and I'm here to share a couple of things with you Oops, tonight. So let's get started. Don't have much charge on my phone, so we'll get started. First, I wanted to show you this cute little book that uh, Deborah from Deborah's Paper Designs on Etsy, I'll link it below, she sent me. She bought these green stamps in my shop, Lisa's Crafty Creations, which I will also link below. And she took the green stamp she bought in my shop and she made this adorable little book for in a pocket in a journal or maybe uh, on a little journal all by itself. Perfect. And in the center, I love that, she used one of Aunt Martha's uh, transfer sheets. And I told her I'm going to steal that idea. That is so cute. So anyway, that was from Deborah. And then another thing I wanted to share with you is I've been cleaning out ephemera, or trying to today. And um, I'm into making these really small journals, and I have one actually in this bag. So my next one, I just want to give you a little sneak peek here, is going to be vintage flower ephemera. So that'll be coming soon. Also, I wanted to give you a sneak peek that I am in the process of making more uh, vintage needle books. So here's one. It'll be a pink one. And then I have a blue one. Oops. A blue one. And I think I have a purple one too. So these will be in the shop soon. These are those uh, really cool needle... Uh, vintage books and I got these you can buy these from um, I forgot the name of the shop well I will link it below I promise and um, I also want to show you this for my ephemera my vintage uh, flower ephemera I thought this was so pretty it's like a really weird um, thick paper it might even be a thin wallpaper. It has a texture to it. And I thought with the vintage flowers and everything that this would just make a really pretty cover. So anyway, there's your sneak peek. The last... Nope, two more things, sorry. I wanted to uh, go ahead and let you re-see this because I'm getting ready to use it and then you won't see it again. This is the spring green journal that uh, I got from Elizabeth over at Liz Crafts and Gifts and it's all made of junk seriously but it's gorgeous it's not what you would think of when you see one made of junk I have done this flip through on my personal channel before but I wanted to go ahead and just give you a look see here on Lisa's Crafty Creations channel look at that gorgeous lace she used on the spine and as I was saying earlier, there are 24 uh, tags in this journal. And there's about eight just on the front and back covers together. As you can see, she reuses great things. Here is a seed packet that she's made a pocket out of. And then she's used... I've got three tags in one pocket. And they're a paint color chip thing, paint color chip thing, and just a box that she's used. There's some tea in there too that I'm saving. That there. And then up here she's used it's a pea pea uh sea bead, pea seed envelope. Can't talk. And some more of her reused uh paint chips and cardboard box. And then if you flip it over on the back, look at this. There's more tags. Look, huge tag here. And another huge tag, which is a paint color swatch card. And then another spintage seed packet. And more uh, tags. This thing is great. If you open it up, I'll give you a little look see inside. She's reused um, packaging and newspaper. And if you haven't heard, she puts clear gesso on so it gives it some tooth. So you could stick something to it. You could write on it. This is her coffee dyed paper. Isn't it gorgeous? Here she's reused a Goya box and made some tags. And her tags are um, a Chipotle tag and a 
repair tag tag. And then this is like uh, some um, tissue paper that she's done ink dotting on and ink splatters on. Isn't that great? And it fits all in here in this pocket she's made out of the Goya box. And then look, she does lunch menu, food wrapper. Here, look, she's sewn two pages together and made a gorgeous box. A uh, box, a gorgeous pocket. And look, look at this. This is a breakfast sandwich. Isn't that cool? That's a cool tag. That's like one of my favorites too, so. Then this is like from your lemon lime bag, orange bag. And then here we have a cereal bag. And she's added the sari silk across the top. And then look, oatmeal. This thing flips out. You can write. You can uh, washi tape something in there. We have another tag. Another page sewn together. I have some dried peas. A big uh, paint splatter tag. And then just look how gorgeous. Oh, and look at this. You guys see this? It flips here. It flips here. I use her. I love her use of all the materials that she's recycling. This is my favorite, though. You don't see this very often. On the spine, she's made a pocket. And we have a bunch of tags in there. Look at that color paint chip tags, box tags, it's just gorgeous. And then here's our second, um, our second signature. And again, she's used some Velcro and look at this. How cool, look at all the cool tuck spots in these guys. I mean, really. So anyway, I've already done flip through, but I had to just do one more. I'm about to start using it. And I didn't want, oops. My wing fell off. Okay, there we go. I didn't want you to um, not see it on this channel as well. So, anyway, put that over there. And then, this is a little journal I made today. It's just a little angel, a little cherub on the cover with a little bit of blue lace. The back cover is the same. I didn't do a lot of embellishing. I thought it was so sweet. wanted to leave it that way. Then inside, this is some of that Tim Holtz paper. And we have some coffee stain paper. More coffee stain paper. Lots of places for journaling. Maybe your favorite uh, Bible quotes. Maybe you want to take some notes about what's going on in your um, life, you know, just personal to you. Then this is some vellum, and it's that pretty roses vellum. I've sewed the center signature. It's all sewn in. It's one signature. I sewed the center. Then you come back on this side. And then here is a little tuck spot. And then it flips up, too, where you could make some notes. And then it opens, too. So it's really cute, unexpected. And this is a tuck spot too back here. And then inside you saw there were two little um, tickets, little tickets for you in this little pocket right here. Also inside the bag that it comes in, I have some more goodies. I just thought these little tags were sweet and kind of go with it. And there's a little coin envelope right here with a little tag in it, a lot of roses. A lot of soft colors. There's a little bird. So anyway, you get these all with it and they'll be in that little envelope in the bag. And then the journal and the um, ephemera bag. Little envelope will all be in a small little um, vintage looking brown craft bag. And the outside bag this bag right here I got from a Tattered Dream Denise's shop. I will link it below. So I wanted to share and again give you a look at the Spring Green Journal. I've done a flip through on my personal channel. I wanted to give you one here, real a fast one, so you could see because I'm going to start using it and you won't be able to see it anymore. 
and I wanted to get, show you my baby, um, uh, my little journal I made, my angel journal. I thought it was so sweet. I loved it. Wanted to share, uh, Deborah's little green stamp book she made. I think it's just great. I have the green stamps in my shop, guys. And also, before you leave, I want to give you a sneak peek at this book. Look at these graphics in this bird book. They are great. And the exciting news is these will be in my shop very soon. Probably in sets of five. So, thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.